So I have these two sets of ornaments. I'm not sure which one's going to look better. These are all silver and this is um, gold and sort of a brown. I was trying to be bronze, but it was really a brown. Um, and they were from 2012 from Target, but I had them, I don't really hang them on a tree. Um, there is a cute story about my forever tree, but um, I would like to use them in a craft because they've just been sitting around waiting for me to find some place to use them. Um, if you watched my previous video on the glass frame art, um, I told you that there would be a frame left over and a backing left over and you'll have a craft someday for it and this is the day. So we're going to use this 11 by 14 frame without the glass. It's from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to think I'm going to try a fabric of my choice. I'm either going to go with this green toile or this red duct, canvas duct. Okay? So stay tuned. I also have these from the Dollar Tree from probably also 2012. Um, I hold these uh, the same time I had my Forever Tree from my first got my Forever Tree. So, and these are a little bigger. These are about uh, two two and a half inch balls. And this one is uh, they're both gold and silver, but they sort of have alternating sparkle and glare patterns. So the inspiration comes from, the inspiration comes to me from uh, Alicia Nicole at YouTube, um, her YouTube channel. Uh, she actually got inspired from a Home Depot advertisement. You'll also need a glue gun and some glue sticks. And probably a scissor. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is take the back off the frame. Normally the frame has a glass, it comes with this piece of paper, and it has a black cardboard backing. This one's left over from another project, so it actually has two cardboard backings, which is helpful to me since it doesn't have a glass, I could use the thickness. So what I'm going to do first is set this frame aside, and I'm going to find a piece of fabric that I want. Like I said, I haven't decided if I want to do this red canvas which is very Christmassy. And I think that the silver would look really nice with that. Or if I want to do this green toile to pull in my French country theme. And I think that the gold will look really nice with that one. Hmm. I think we'll go with the, hmm, I don't know. I think we'll go with the twelve. Let's try the twelve. So the first thing you want to do is you want to cut a piece. So when it comes to twelve, even though we're going to cover it with a tree, what I usually like to do is if I'm going to back twelve, is I try to like try to find a picture that I like. But since we're going to put a tree on here, I don't really know that the picture is going to make that much of a difference. But I just want to make sure I leave myself some salvage, some extra, okay, to wrap around the back of the cardboard. So working on wrong sides, I'm just going to take the cardboard. And I'm going to give this a rough cut. I don't like to waste, so it's not going to be um, so much all rich. Because I'm cheap.
Because I'm cheap and fabric's not always. So I just want to leave a one, one and a half inch salvage around the whole frame. Okay, so then I'm going to put it on. Like I said, this particular project has two cardboard frames left from when I was left over. This one has the double hangers. The other one I took the hanger off of. So we're going to use this one um, to back up. So what I'm going to use is any kind of double sticky tape. This one happens to be left over from doing window insulation. Um, they give you a lot of tape. And what I actually do is I buy the window cling kit and I use those to shrink mark my gift baskets in because you get more yardage and you get all this extra free double sticky tape. For usually, like you know, when you figure out per yard or anything, that's, it's usually a better deal. So I have all of this. So we're gonna tape around three, four sides. And just like anytime you do something with fabric, like if you're recovering chairs or whatever, you wanna do opposite sides. So let's make sure we have our fabric lined up evenly. So you wanna do opposite sides. So we're gonna do this side first, press it down. Then we're gonna pull gently across Okay, make sure we get all of the wrinkles out. Oops, maybe if I could just get it a little closer to me. There we go. So, then we're just going to pull the fabric gently across. I'm using my fingers to pull against the frame. And you want to lay it down onto the double sticky tape. And then we're going to do the same. For the long ends. Now there's so many different ways to do ends. I could do this and then clip and I could just, but since it's going in a frame, I'm just going to fold it over. I'm going to push down in the middle and then when I'm going to come back with a dab of hot glue, which I have here. You just want to make sure you tuck this in. And it's and it's like I said, it's not so important. This is going in a frame, so. on the other side and this is where we're going to give the fabric a little tug so if you just lay fabric down you can tend to get like wrinkles and warping and um, but if you give the fabric just a tiny little tug it's almost like you're pressing it with an iron you know it's like so if you notice it's nice and smooth okay let me go back and get these corners. Now I have covered picture mats with this. Um, with black and white twall I have outside in my living room. Okay, so now we're going to do is we're going to put it back in the frame. And then just make sure before you put the frame back on, you know which is the top. So here's the top. By the direction of the fabric, of course. I'm sorry, I should have included that. And then we're gonna clip down.
And there you have a really lovely piece of framed twall fabric. But now we're gonna put a tree on here. So we're gonna make the tree out of ornaments. As you've seen in the finished product. And the ornaments are just glued. This particular set came with um, they're shatter resistant. It came with 24 um, count, but it was 20, 20 bowls and four snowflakes. So you see the big snowflakes in the middle. I'm gonna put the snowflakes aside. I think we're gonna use one of these for our tree topper. So here's the 24 bowls, and they are plastic. There's four gold mat, eight glitter mat, uh, glitter gold, and four metallic bronze brown color. And the star is bronze brown color. And then the other ones we're gonna mix and match with big ones. I think we're gonna mix and match with big ones. There is two large gold glitters in this package and and two gold metallic ribbed um, ornaments in this one. Oops, a stowaway. So you want to do is you want to figure out your design. I think that's probably the best before you glue anything down. Oh, and these ones are foam, by the way. These are plastic and these are foam. So I was thinking about designing wise. I don't know that I'm going to use the big ones because it's kind of overwhelming on this frame. But I do like the mixed color ones. Um, so let's see. First, let's see if 24 is enough. If my math skills are anything to be envied, I know that a 4, 3, 2, 1 pyramid um, equals 10. Uh, so since I have 20, uh, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 pyramid is 15, and then I'll need 21 if I wanted to do a 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 pyramid. I think that we're gonna get rid of the large balls because I think they're just too big. I think it's just too much. So I don't think there should be any pattern. I, I'm, I'm one that's like, if it's pattern, it's on purpose, but you know, like accidental patterns are like, no, we can't have patterns. Um, Some of these I'm sure I spent hours stringing. Okay. So let's see. So I want to leave room for the star, which is if we pick a snowflake that's kind of big. Now I have seen them where I can actually come off the frame to include the frame as part of the art. But let's see, so if we do one, two, three, four, See, now I'm ending up with a pattern, which I don't want. <laughs> okay, so let's do, well, I don't think a pattern would be terrible, but it's not something I really wanted. And what if I did?
See, now that kind of tree is not so bad, where it's actually comes in a little bit in the middle. So I can tell you that I do have room to move this down. The original inspirational art was those swirly, spinny, icicle-type um, plastic twisted ribbons. I don't really know even what they were called. I think they're just spinny icicles. So they had those, and it was much bigger, obviously. And the background was painted blue and white, whitewash. And it was all these blue and turquoise-colored um, balls with silver. But that's not my style. That's really nice. It looked really nice if it was like a beach theme or a beach house. If your house had a beach theme, that'd be great. So um, that's not really um, something that is my style, really. What I thought I would like to do, let's see. My one idea was just a piece of burlap ribbon in the shape and size of a tree trunk. Which isn't actually terrible. But then I also have it in green burlap. Um, which, I don't know, maybe the brown's better. So let's see, if we're going to use the brown burlap, I'd like to tuck the end under so it's like a clean finished edge. Just put a little drizzle of the glue. Just to hold it in place. And then the top I'm not worried about because the top will be underneath the balls, but I will clean up the extra string. Okay. So I think I would like it there. I'm going to turn it so I can make sure I'm in the center here. Okay. So I think I would like it here. And if I do do it there, then do-do. She said do-do. If I do decide to put it there which I think I'm going to. Um, I could start building my tree from there and I probably have room for the star on the end. So what I've decided to do, because I'm kind of not sure about this burlap just yet, but the thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this double sticky tape. It's actually really good um, quality, believe it or not, considering it was free with, free with purchase. No, it was free with the window cling. So, and it does really good to fabric. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, this is the tape that I used to wrap my candles in Santa Claus ribbon. I got Santa Claus ribbon from the Dollar General. Um, and I just was trying to figure out where else I wanted to put it. So, okay. This is why you shouldn't bite your nails, people. Okay, so then we're just going to use the double sticky tape here. Okay. And now I think I'm going to go ahead and start gluing the balls. Um, they all kind of shifted on me a little bit. So I'd like to apologize because I didn't realize the video got cut off. You guys missed everything. First I laid everything out, um, you saw a dry fit, and I put on the stem. Then as I was re-dry fitting it, I thought it would be cute with different size balls. So I pulled three of the gold ones out and I replaced some of them with that. And then um, I decided to do the brown snowflake um, as a star. But here's where I wanna show you one of the greatest things about putting it on fabric. So I realized just now that this glued crooked. Do you see that? Actually, I'm probably better off turning it around. Do you see how crooked that is? How off-center everything is? Well, one of the greatest things about doing it on fabric is once it's cooled, it does quite easily peel up from fabric. That's not always, trust me, but um, that is one of the advantages of doing it to fabric. So what I noticed is, is probably because the big balls, um, some of them are a little off center, especially this one at the top. So if I re, if I move that one over and move the star over, we should be golden. 
So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this star down first. So what I pretty much did was, um, while you were gone, <laughs> is I went ahead and I just glued down all the bowls. I, the, the hangers I put in all different directions because I kind of like the way that that looked. Uh, does this look centered? That looks pretty centered. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And then... So if you could see, they're all kind of going all in haphazard directions. So I think if we move this one and this one, we should be okay. Glue. Same spot. And we'll just move that guy over. There we go. And then same thing with this big guy here in the middle. He's the only one that I wanted the hanger pointing up, just to give the illusion of a point at the top of the tree. Okay. Yes, I did that upside down on purpose. <laughs> okay. So this is just about, let me just see something since I have the extra bowls. What would it look like if I did a... Yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to add these two lists. Um, I didn't have enough originally, but then when I decided to put the big bowls in there, the big ornaments in there, then um, now I have enough left over. So this is really where everybody pretty much stops. Um, I will clean off the glue threads and everything too, but... Um, if you guys just want to hang with me and indulge me for a second, I do have some thoughts. I was kind of thinking if I took a little bit of this greenery and maybe cut off a couple of sprigs and maybe like stuck them here and there. Um, because I have a little bit more of a transitional taste, I'm just going to hold it up because I want to see if I like it. Mm. Not sure yet. That's why I'm not gluing it. But this is how design works. You know, people are always like, oh, you have such great ideas. Or, um, oh, you know, I loved your video, your tutorial. You have everything figured out for you. But not everything is... I don't want all of you beginners to think that that the quote unquote professionals or the people who have the ideas have all the answers because we don't sometimes we sit and we play and we design and we just say oh nice you know what i love that one the best or no you know what i don't want any greenery on here at all let's see well comment down below i'd like to hear your opinion so let me just show you that again with the some greenery stuck in to make it look to look like a tree with maybe some balls hanging on it um, and then here's without it. So that's it. Um, tell me if you like it. Comment down below. Tell me if you think it should would look better with green um, greenery. Tell me if you think it would you think it would look better with the red fabric and the silver balls. Um, I love to hear your opinions. I'd love to hear some advice. Um, thank you all for tuning in and watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it was something for everybody's skill level and everybody's price budget point. Okay. And hope to see you in the next video. Take care and God bless.